I grew up in Sweden and we had a house in the countryside and it was basically surrounded by rune stones. So from a very, uh, from, from when I was a very young boy, I've, I've had this fascination with, um, with Vikings and, and Norse mythology. And then about almost 10 years ago now, I, uh, I teamed up with a Danish-born um, uh, US-based producer named Lars Knudsen. Um, and we, we said, let's, let's try to make a, a, a big, epic Viking movie that is based in the, um, in, 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 in the old Icelandic sagas, uh, something that captures that, the essence of those sagas. But it wasn't until I met um, Rob a couple years later um, that um, the project really took off. What, what, you know, once uh, I met Alexander Skarsgård and we decided that we were going to make a Viking movie, um, you know, the the scale of the movie demanded that it needed to be something uh, more entertaining, you know, and more and 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 something that could would have to be for a broad audience. But I think that the, the great thing is the, the source material of the Icelandic sagas like isn't mystical, weird, Arthurian legend, like it's pretty straightforward. So, um, so, you know, I was being honest to the material to make something that w was an, you know, an epic mythological event that like everyone could, you know, can, can understand. Uh, Rob, together with Sean, the, the, the screenwriter, uh, had an idea of, of of basing it on Prince Amlet of Jutland, which is a um, an old uh, Nordic tale from uh, Saxo Grammaticus from the 12th century um, that actually Shakespeare based Hamlet on. Uh, it, it, it's 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 the classic revenge saga basically. Uh, so Rob and Sean had the idea of of, of of having that at the center of of this, and then. Um, building the world from from out from there. I, I mean, you know, it's the archetypal stories that are the ones that really last. You know, and I think that, uh, and and I think that the the best Norse mythology uh, has that. And and the the gods are also really multifaceted and, and interesting. Odin, uh, you know, like the, like there's there's modernity in how how they. Uh, juxtapose opposite ideas and don't make sense. <laughs> you know, like Odin's the god of war, but he's also the god of, of poetry, and he's also the male god of sorcery, something that men aren't supposed to do, you know, and is considered like unmasculine. The only right. pop culture thing that really worked its way into the film is Milius's Conan, which is a movie I'd seen just a zillion times as a kid, and there is like a handful of deliberate nods to Conan, and then maybe an, um, another several handfuls of stuff that was not de deliberate. Just, it's just I've seen it so many times. I've I've had the fortune of playing characters from uh, many different cultures all around the world, um, um, but I've never gotten to explore Norse mythology on screen. I've never gotten to. Um, to play a character close to, uh, not even close to Amleth, or um, uh, who has that background, or um, who's rooted in, in 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 the culture I was I was born and raised in. Working with Robert Eggers, he's um, his attention to detail and and the importance of it being historically accurate is 100. percent And so it it you're you're I've never been more immersed in a project than this, which meant that. For those seven months, we were up on that mountaintop, knee deep in mud, and it was absolutely wonderful because, again, like it, it, it helps me as an actor um, step into that world and feel that I'm, I'm in it. Um, Alexander Skarsgård, with, with the transformation he's made with his body, and you put on the beard, like, and you then you put him into this landscape with the weather and the way he just needs to like say the lines. <laughs> it was definitely a. Uh, a dream role, for sure.